Hey guys, what is happening? Animetal Viking here, and welcome to the second episode of Discography Rewind. And with this episode, I will be reviewing the second full length album by Dutch symphonic black metal band Karach Angren. And this particular album is a Death Came Through on a Phantom Ship. This album is definitely not the band's heaviest, especially from a production standpoint, but it definitely doesn't lack the signature atmosphere that the band is known for. Uh, the album is definitely longer than Lum and Dumb, but this is mainly because of the fact that the band told the entire story of the Flying Dutchman from its origins to the various sightings that have been reported. Another reason why this is is because the songs contain longer instrumental seg segments between verses, especially in the orchestration department. The songs are definitely more ambitious than those on the previous record, with some exceeding the 8 minute mark. Sergal's vocals are once again on point. I also love how the other members of the band added their vo vocals in the song Al Betekent Het Mien Duurd, uh, if I'm saying that correctly. Uh, this track is a perfect combination of a narration and a song with minimal instrumentals and the main focus being the clean chanting vocals mixed with Sergo's signature vocals. Then we have tracks like the follow-up track, Departure Towards a Nautical Curse, containing fantastic and memorable solos. Uh, the songs are filled with fantastic and sometimes catchy riffs, and once again, no traditional song structures are used, just like with the previous record. However, the songs flow naturally into one another with some songs like The Course of a Spectral Ship, containing elements of a traditional shanty in the orchestral elements in the beginning part of the song. While I do think that the production sounds muffled for the most part, it's strangely a clean sort of muffled. I do believe the album would have sounded a lot heavier and dare I say better if it had the same production style as Lum and Dum. Otherwise, it's okay. It's at least lo-fi enough to keep black metal purists more or less happy, but then again they are a hard crowd to please. Uh, Namta sh uh, shows off a lot more range with his drumming on this album, uh, with the incorporation of more mid-tempo and slow-tempo parts in the songwriting, as opposed to having a pure blast beat and kick drum fest, which would, uh, which sorry, which did uh, dominate a good chunk of Lamondon's songs. Uh, the lyrics are written superbly once again. English may not be Sergal's first language, but he, the man sure knows how to make a damn good story out of song lyrics that flow seamlessly and perfectly into the music. While this band does get a lot of criticism for having the lyrics kind of being straightforward and sounding like they've been read out of a book as opposed to these abstract metaphors, etc. Um, I do think it fits the band's style and definitely flows with the kind of music that they are trying to pull off. Um, so the incorporation of background sounds to the orchestration on certain tracks really adds to the immersion of the music and the story as a whole. Um, now, apart from the production style, the only other complaint I have is that despite its longer length, the album pulls you in and is over before you know it. But as always, all good things must eventually come to an end, and there are also violin and piano solos on this particular album a plenty. Overall, this album is a great improvement in terms of songwriting from the band, but the production could have been less muffled and softer and a tad heavier and distorted. Ardek's orchestration is on point, the piano and violin pieces are a nice touch, uh, the longer instrumental segments are definitely welcomed, and the inclusion of the shanty element was a nice surprise in the course of a spectral ship. Sergal's vocals flow naturally with the lyrics, and his punctuation with the use of his vocals was on point once again. 
Also, Namtor's greater use of range in drumming speeds was another welcome change. So overall, I'd have to give this album a rating of 7.8 out of 10. While I didn't, uh, didn't think uh, this album was, um, uh, in terms of my own personal enjoyment, while I didn't find it to be as great as Lum and Dumb, it's definitely a huge improvement in so many places and this is why it deserves this rating. Um, I absolutely enjoyed this album and it's very interesting to actually know the true origins of the Flying Dutchman story as opposed to hearing it through the, the likes of uh, Spongebob Squarepants or, or um, Pirates of the Caribbean which has its own spin and take on the story. Uh, so. Uh, this was definitely a very educational album, to say the least. And uh, yeah, it's a it's a really fantastic album. So uh, if you're a fan of, um, uh, obviously if you're a fan of uh, any kind of symphonic black metal and maybe some gothic metal, then you will definitely enjoy this album. And that concludes uh, this uh, episode of discography rewind um what's the uh, band's discography would you like to see me review next well be sure to check out my patreon to see as to how you can submit your suggestions and the same goes for anime as well uh there are other reward tiers there as well so uh be sure to check it out and see which one uh works for you best um it is not required uh but any donations are much appreciated and will definitely contribute into keeping the two channels alive and going especially in the light of the youtube ad crisis or the ad apocalypse as it's also known as uh, so while it is not required it is definitely much appreciated um, it also if you enjoyed this uh, review be sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you have not already done so and share it with your friends also uh, what are your thoughts on this album and on Karach Angra and overall be sure to let me know in the comments below um, you can follow me on social media I have a Facebook page I have a Twitter page and uh, I have a subreddit now so if you want to go a little bit more depth of discussions concerning these videos without the trolling of the YouTube comments then you can do so over there um, I also have a vid me now in case any of my videos get taken down by YouTube um, so um thanks to its bullshit uh, new policies so um yeah i have a vidme so you can either subscribe to my vidme uh channel or you can follow my vidme channel the, the, both options are fine uh so um definitely check that out and uh yeah that concludes this episode so until the next episode guys take care of yourselves and as always have a kick-ass day <laughs>